Okay, what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you think about South Korea? You may think of Korean pop music like Gangnam Style, or delicious Korean food such as kimchi or bulgogi, or rich history and traditions, or super fast internet and mobile service. All of them sound very interesting, but in this course, we will think about South Korea's foreign and security policy and global political conditions which creates face, a topic that might sound a little bit more difficult and complex than K-pop, but hopefully as interesting as Gangnam Style. Welcome to Korea in Global Context. Uh, my name is Yung Soo-yun. I'm an Associate Professor of Political Science and International Studies here at Hanyang University, Seoul, South Korea. Throughout this course, I'll be your guide. I'll be your lead educator. South Korea is located in Northeast Asia, from which almost all security tensions in East Asia gravitate. Consider, for example, the long-standing Sino-Japanese rivalry and the unresolved territorial disputes in East Asia. Also, the legacies of the Cold War still linger on the Korean Peninsula, as the division of the Korea and the persistent confrontation between the two Koreas clearly demonstrate. Relately, the security threats posed by North Korea's nuclear tests and long-range missiles cannot be taken lightly. However, from international economic perspective, we do have quite different pictures and stories here. For example, the share of intra-regional trade between South Korea, Japan and China increased from 12% in 1990 to 24% in 2014. In addition, China, Japan and South Korea constitute together more than 23% of the global population and the three countries' aggregate GDP account for around 20% of global GDP. So in this very dynamic and important region, South Korea can play very important roles given its geographical locations and technological as well as economic power. Also the considered very close economic and financial relationships between China and South Korea and the strong security ties with Washington that Seoul has been maintaining. In this course, we will think about what challenges and opportunities South Korea faces and critically analyze how regional and global politics would affect and would be affected by South Korea's external behavior. In doing so, our focus will be placed on major state actors of the Asia-Pacific region, such as the United States, China, Japan, and North Korea, and their foreign policy strategies and actions. Once again, thank you for joining this course, and I hope that you will find it interesting and useful in making better sense of South Korea's foreign policy and global politics.